All right, who do we got now? Mystery, no. It's actually Wrightson, right? So this is Bernie Wrightson, a look back, probably one of the most definitive books on his work, probably good majority of his work's in there. Um, hard book to find, tons of, there's a lot of books out on him. Frankenstein was what I think of most uh, as his quintessential masterpieces, or is when he did these, uh, these beautiful, beautiful, um, lyrical, crazy complex uh, layering inks of uh, Frankenstein. So, Wrightson. Oh, so uh, one of my favorite stories about Wrightson is, is these are amazing. These, uh, these are very Franklin Booth inspired, but you know, if, if you ever, if you're a fan of Wrightson and you've looked up some of this stuff, when he originally did some of this Frankenstein book, he sent it to the printer and it was all this beautiful black and white work. And they were like, so do you want to color it or do you want us to color it? And he was like, what? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, what? why would you ever put color to something like this? It doesn't even make sense. It's so well designed that it's like, you know, just the value structure in here and just everything. And yet, even though there's all this chaos, it leads you to this eye of the monster right in here. And just that anatomy, how well it's done. Just, you know, so, oh man, that structure, just that rib cage and everything. But yeah, I'm a big fan. Um, Wrightson was, again, he was a master inker um, and really knew how to turn his form. And I think with this one, he was trying something different and it really paid off for him because I think this is kind of the quintessential um, work for him as everybody looks at his magnum opus was the Frankenstein books. Um, I, although I am a big fan of his old um, uh, Swamp Thing comic work, I think is some of, some of my favorite yeah. too. Um, but yeah, just, just the... A lot of just even the way he rounds the forms in these little uh, the translucency, but yeah. in the beakers and stuff. I mean, it's crazy, yeah. you know. I mean, just yeah, the complexity of layering he gets is of something on the other side and the other side of the other yeah. side, and how he layers through it, and how much foresight that takes in inking. Sorry yeah. to interrupt. No, 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 definitely. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, just these beakers and everything, and all the little intricate areas. How he took this little um, spiraling tube. Like it, a lot of inkers, if they did this little spiraling tube, you would focus on that right away. But he's so delicate in this area that it's kind of a second thought. We really look here and this, and then we see something like that. And that's just kind of him showing off. He's like, I'm this good, <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, it's like he can direct you. This is like looking like a Bouguereau almost. Like everything's equally yeah. rendered, but you, do, you know where to look. It's so hard to control an eye like that in a hyper real piece where everything is vying for competition. And, and these, these are just, these should not work. Like that should not at all be something that you like to look at. Uh, your eyes should just be like, well, I'm out of here, you know? Um, but just the, the, the amazing, I, I love his beaker work and the, you know, the glass indication, um, some of my favorites. Uh, Wrightson was just one of those, again, I wouldn't say an unsung hero cause he was pretty, you know, um, well known, but his 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 style of inking, I think, is a, a beautiful blend of a number of different inkers. But you do see Booth in there. You do see uh, some coal in how he's using his quill work up in the corners, like up in these clouds and stuff. Um, it's just a beautiful blend, and even some Frazetta in there. So I think um, one of my one of my top five for sure. And I think again, the Frankenstein's my favorite. But I do agree with you, the Swamp stuff, Swamp Thing, and also some of his old creepy stuff. Um, but just a beautiful design of this uh inking to me you know just holds a place in my heart for um the purists for the for the ones that are um really i mean like this is such a complicated art form yeah i so, mean the, yeah, just, just look at this having this done in here makes me want to you know jump out of a i mean it just makes you want to run to the hill yeah. screaming but um yeah his design sense his lyrical quality of line work his virtuoso dexterity his layering ability, his ability to knit together creative and yet still articulate, um, like just to take this field of nothingness. My dad would call it painting a coal saw and going in and trying to design that into a way that just doesn't look obnoxious or discordant or just phoned in. I mean, because there's a lot of repetition. This would is a thesis right here and it's just nothing. It's a bunch of yeah, because yeah. you're not noticing this at first. You notice here, and then you go here, and that's that's. This is probably hard, way harder yeah. than. I mean, this yeah. is this would be the last thing you'd want to do is this guy because this, you, if you blow it on that or you just go and do that, 
you're not even gonna want it. I mean, it's so hard to go through doing all that pick and shovel. So anyway, um, Wrightson's power, again, not a great translator into paint. Uh, primarily, his strength was in ink and was in black and white, single image, stuff like that. Or not single image, but just like black and white, posterized, um, you know, kind of single page. Like these single images are, are my favorites. But anyway, Wrightson, right up there with Frazetta, um, more contemporary, passed away not that long ago. Um, but, uh, but again, one of my favorites. So if you don't know Wrightson's work, take a look at it. Golden age of like kind of illustration comic work. Uh, kind of fits into that genre. Um, but anyway, definitely holds, holds up with uh, Booth, Gibson, you know, all the old, all the old timers. So awesome. Yep. So again, one of our big picks here is Wrightson. So get the book. Um, you can buy the individual Frankenstein version too that just has the plates from the Frankenstein in it. The cool thing with this one is it does have some, like Doug was saying, unpublished aspects of uh, plates they didn't use, which I think we, we both agree yeah. are some of the stronger it's ones. I don't know why they missed miss the uh, cut. but So again, Wrightson, a look yeah. back. Great book. If you want to check one down only on him, this would be the one I'd probably get. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we're on to our next one next time. Have fun. Stick in the ink. Have fun. Play around. And uh, we'll see you on a Friday Night Live, or we'll see you for the next one of these. Cheers.